Hi everyone, it's Paula here from On Grey Matters, and I'm bringing back to you another episode of Perusing Pencils. So since I've been going along the trend of reviewing my top favorite pencils, I've decided to continue along that line and have brought you another one of the pencils in my top five holy grail pencils of all time, the Tombow Mono 100 in 2B. So I love this pencil, again, because of the things that I look for. It's got great point retention, it's dark, it writes smoothly, it erases great. But this pencil has something that the other pencils in my top five don't have, and that's the luxurious feel. So I was going to talk to you about pencils in the terms of like talking about cars. This pencil would be the Mercedes-Benz of all pencils. It's the top line of the Tombow series. It's super, super duper smooth and it honestly has all the qualities to make you feel fancy. So let me bring this up to you for a little bit of a close up. It's actually really short. It's longer than this usually but I use it so much especially when I travel that it's become this tiny nub of a thing. So um, I will hopefully be able to show you guys a full size one soon. So this originally said more, but here you can see the Tombow logo, monograph, Mono 100 in 2B. You can see the gorgeous, gorgeous lacquer job. It's kind of reminiscent of a grand piano in real life. It's that really nice glazed black, gorgeous, kind of like a Steinway. The ferrule has a little bit of this detailing on the gold band right here, right below the ferrule. You can actually feel over here that there's a little bit of an indentation. And then this part, the little end, is dipped in black but has a really nice simple stripe. So it's very classy, very minimalist, very, very sleek. And honestly, writing with it makes you feel like you're writing with $100. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to show you how this writes. Alright, so I've already written up here Tombow Mono 100 2B. This is a newly sharpened Tombow pencil, so we're going to go with our old formatting. I'm going to do a couple of rows of X's to show you its point retention. So we'll start up over here. One thing that I can already tell you that's different about this pencil versus American made or Portuguese made or German made pencils is that the graphite from Japanese pencils for some reason is just so much smoother. The 2B grade though, which um, tends to be a little softer but definitely darker, I can definitely feel the difference in the softness. And even though it is a 2B, look at the point. You can see, if it will focus for us, there we go, you can see that it is still pretty sharp after writing, how many did I write? Four rows of X's. So I'm going to bring this up against the card so you guys can see it a little better. So it's still pretty sharp. All right. So now let me write a sentence for you all so you can kind of check out the smoothness. Yeah. Definitely less feedback on this one. You can see that it's kind of getting darker as it go along. The smudging is getting a little more clear. So we'll do a smudge test. I'll run my finger over that for you guys. Not that bad. I mean, all graphite smudges a little bit. You get a little bit more smudging from a 2B, but it's because the lead is, the graphite, I mean, is ultimately already softer. So here's a little bit of a close up. I love the gorgeous dark line. Love it. All right. So, whoops. Now let's do this little bit of a eraser test. So once again, we're gonna go about halfway. We're gonna do three lines. And we're gonna test three erasers. So these three erasers will be our Sakura Foam, Penta, and our Uni boxy. All right, so I'm gonna set this up here on top for you guys. You can see it. We'll grab our little tin and we're gonna start erasing. This one. This two. And 
three. So for those of you who don't know why I use three erasers, it's because each of these erasers is basically made up of a different material. And I kind of like to test to see how that will work. All right, so we'll bring this to a close up. Look at that. Race is so cleanly. I really, you can barely tell. Barely. I think the foam is, the Sakura foam at the top is the cleanest of the three with regard to this, but not terrible overall. So guys, there we have it. I have used this pencil for everything from my travel journal to exams, and it is indefinitely my top five favorites, if not my absolute favorite pencil to bring around with me. I keep it here at home because I don't want to lose it. And even though all other pencils or most other pencils have the same qualities, I have to say that the luxurious feel of this pencil definitely can't be beat. So this is Paula on Grey Matters Blogs and thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!